up, my dudes? Bots and Blasters here with another episode of Purchase or Pass. Today we're going to be taking a look at a blaster I've actually had my eye on for a long time. That is none other than the Air Warriors Busby Pixelator Long Distance Darts. Improved velocity. 10 long distance starts. Air Warriors. Now that is a logo I would never thought I'd see again. Pixelator includes 10 long distance starts and clip. The blaster in action. Ages six and up. Overview of the blaster itself. Blast up to 100 feet. Asterix, that's subjective because only with its included darts. On the side, Air Warriors Pixelator. On the bottom, Air Warriors Pixelator. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Air Warriors Pixelator, the barrel, the clip, the clip release, and the trigger. And the trigger is pretty big and beefy on this one. Blasts up to 100 feet. Look for these other great Air Warrior products. Revolution, that's actually a really good blaster. The compound bow, I've always seen these, but they've always been broken. If I ever find one new, I will probably review it. And the 2022 release of the Sidewinder. In case anybody doesn't know, Air Warriors are Busby toys, so yay. Operating instructions. One, pull back handle all the way. Number two, push the clip release lever forward towards the clip and pull the clip out of the blast at the same time. Number three, load 10 darts into the clip. Number four, push the handle forward. Number five, pull the trigger to blast. Number six, prime again. That's a bit convoluted. I mean, I know what they're trying to say, but that's a lot of words to say it in. Check out their socials. I actually am subscribed to them on YouTube, but they haven't posted anything yet. Enough of that. Let's get it out of its package. So you might be asking yourself, bots, why are you so excited for the Pixelator? It doesn't look all that impressive. And you might be right there, except for one thing. This appeals very much to those of us who grew up playing vintage retro games. For example, old Atari, old Nintendo, old Super Nintendo, Sega, what have you. This speaks very strongly to that. And I guess to another extent if you grew up playing Minecraft, the whole blockiness. It definitely does seem that the Air Warriors Blaster wanted to fit in with the big kids as far as the uh, Minecraft pixel release craze we had a couple years back. So let's talk about the features this blaster does have. No in-strike-esque barrel attachment. No in-strike-esque stock attachment. Although there does seem to be a lot of room here where you could jury rig something if you really wanted to. The top prime has this faux, I mean very faux and very small. <laughs> Picatinny rail. Like, <laughs> that has to be the smallest one of the Picatinny rail ever. Now, speaking objectively, just as a retro fan, this grip is very uncomfortable. At least here in the hands where it's pixelated, it kind of digs in. I can also deal with it because, um, you know, I grew up in the 90s, you know, when kids were kids. <laughs> I will say the trigger is over overly sized. It actually engages down here, so you kind of want to grab it back here to do the shot. Instinctively, you want to grab this way. That's not going to work. You want to shoot this way. Let's go ahead and prime the back. To eject it, it's actually pretty smooth. If you weren't using this mag, very easy, very fast actually. Busby, you need to put this ejection release on more of your products because that is like buttery smooth. It's minimized. I mean, if you're not going to do the little ambidextrous button, that's fine, but this is way better. Going ahead and looking at the mag, you can tell that it has like some Tetris-esque design to it. I really like that even up here. I was worried about how the mag was gonna look up here, but so far it's looking pretty nice. The most important thing we have to check though is cross compatibility. Cross compatibility check. It fits, it seats, it would shoot if I would've loaded it with darts. Now cross compatibility usually isn't an issue for Busby products. They've been pretty cross-compatible 
with Nerf products since I want to say about 2015, 2016. Feel free to correct me on this. Basically around the time that the Brute and the Sentinel came out, that's when we started seeing real cross compatibility with uh, attachments and mags and so forth. But we still have to check for the sake of checking. I also want to comment on their long distance darts. I know a lot of people have said, how come Busby just doesn't pack in the Wobblehead darts? Because the Wobblehead darts are not owned by Busby. They're owned by Dart Zone, specifically Adventure Force Dart Zone, but Dart Zone. However, I would propose a caveat that if Busby still has the rights to it, we should get the high precision darts, which I will put a picture of here-ish. Those were really nice, hit really accurately. I know I really liked them. I only ever fired them once. I never found a pack of them in the wild though. If you bring those back and get rid of these, I mean, you're gonna make a lot of people happy, but that's slightly off top. So I went ahead and ran this through my crony. I got about 80 to 88 FPS reliably. That was my average, just about. Now that's not great and it's not super impressive by today's standards, but by 2015 standards, that was incredible. We have to talk realistically. Who is this blaster for? Well, the easy answer is it's for people who are fans of retro games and retro imagery and anybody, I guess, who would have seen the movie Voxels, which uh, I did not see that movie. I'm glad I didn't. However, would this be a purchase or pass? I would have to say this would be a pass as it is presented. At this moment, though, this blaster is very rare. It can only be found at Ross occasionally and Dollar Generals randomly. For those of you who don't know, Busby's distribution is very, I'll just say erratic. Even then, I went to a number of Dollar Generals and was only able to find this randomly, only one, at a Ross. So, take that for what it is. I believe I got my Pixelator for about $13.99, 13 bucks, give or take. I've been on a huge hunt for this blaster ever since I saw it was announced. That having been said, I'm also a retro game fan, so I play a lot of the older style video games. Unless you have a project in mind for it, this might be a hard pass. I am bought some blasters. Please leave me a like if you like this video. Comment down below if you want to see me do a mod on this, potentially. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I could really make it kick harder. Please ring the bell because it's the only way that me and any other content creator that you enjoy, especially us nerf tubers, it is the only way that YouTube knows that we exist, but more importantly that you want to see our content. I have a coffee link down below if you'd like to buy me a coffee, I'd greatly appreciate it. Until then guys, I'm Bots and Blasters. I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield. That's not bad. It's not comfortable, but it's not bad.